I have two patterns here that are produced in Photoshop just for this project. Uh, one's the, the shape of a moon and the other one's a stag. Trim them down to, to a size so they'll fit nicely onto the board just to reduce any waste. The two pieces of ply I've got here are both 3mm ply and what I always do is for scroll saw work I always first of all cover them with masking tape then use print stick to actually glue the pattern on and then finish that off with, with tape. I believe that the tape on the top helps lubricate the blade so that cutting the work is a lot easier. This is the first time I've actually used the scroll saw for quite some time now on a proper project. I was very surprised when I cut it the moon shape as to how little sanding that actually required. It was just really a case of cleaning up the fuzzies. I had a perfect arc on there. For the stand I just drilled some holes on all the central parts so that I could just thread the blade through and do all the internal cuts. This image of the stag was one that I found online. I did a search on Google images for stags and opted for the silhouette option and I came across a photograph of this stag on a rock. I can't remember whether it is with a moon behind it or not but I thought it was an absolute ideal image for what I was looking for. So I copied that, put it into Photoshop and played around with two or three of the filters until I got an outline of the stag that I wanted. I could then just scale that up to the size that I needed for this pattern. Now the good thing about doing these patterns yourself is that, and especially when it's something like an animal like this and rocks, you don't have to be fully precise. So if you do go off the lines a bit, it's not so much an issue, but in this case, I was really pleased how well this came out and I did actually follow the lines pretty well. Cutting around the antlers is pro was probably about the hardest part of this. I wanted to try and keep them as, as thin as possible where they needed to be and also to still have the points on the end. Now everybody will have their own techniques of using the scroll saw and this is just one that I use. I usually go past a point and then more or less do a circle round and then come straight back so that the blade is already pointing in the direction you want to do. And I find that this works fairly well. Cutting out the rest of the stag was all quite easy. That's all the scroll saw work now finished and the next job was just to trim down the, the board for the moon and then cut out a backing board for it all to sit on, leaving enough space either side to fit everything on. After that was done, it was then just a case of pulling off the patterns and this is why I use masking tape on the boards first because it's so, so easy to get them off. Then just sand everything down. The two main square boards, it was just a case of sanding down the edges. For the deer, because of those antlers and it's three mil ply, I want to be really careful just to make sure that I didn't actually snap anything off. Once that was done, for a change, which I don't, haven't done in the past, I gave everything a coat of grey primer. Once the primer had dried, I went over it all again with sandpaper. I think I had some used 320 grit paper. That just smoothed it all out. And then I could give each of them their required colors. So the moon was white and the stag and the background were both black. I need to make a frame to put this in. So I found a piece of wood here, which was something that my son broke off his bed. And the first job was just to saw it all down, just to get rid of all the edges and then to cut the grooves out. This is also the first time I've actually used my oldie palm rotor. And I did a review on this a few videos back 
and didn't really get the proper use of it and I've got to say I'm really impressed with this it actually had a fair bit of wood to take out once that was done back onto the table saw again just to cut out the what would then be the actual frame pieces Cutting the 45 degree angles on the table saw is not ideal, it's not fully accurate, but I did this as best as I could, and then what I did, I then just evened them all up, just using the bench sander, which really produced a nice snug fit. It was time to glue it all together, and I just pushed these all together, checked the angles with a square, and measurements from corner to corner, and then just held them all in place with some masking tape on the joints. Left that for 24 hours to fully dry, came back, took the masking tape off and then just sanded everything up again. For a finish wise I'm using this gloss varnish which I believe is some form of a walnut colour. The weird thing about this, it goes on as a blue colour and then as it slowly dries it turns into the actual colour. With that done it's then time to start gluing everything together. The backing board was then glued into the frame and I clamped that down because the board has a slight bend to it. I've done the moon, did exactly the same. That had a slight bend so just weighted it all down and the same for the stag as well. Just to finish off I gave this a coat of matte spray varnish. Hello there it's Paul here and welcome along everyone. I wanted to do a project which was Christmassy, but something that you could just leave up all year round. I used 3 mil plywood for everything on there, uh, nice, quick and easy to cut out. For the actual deer itself, I searched around on Google Images for uh, a deer or a stag, and there was actually a photograph uh, of this one on a rock like this. So it was absolutely ideal. So I just took that, put it into Photoshop, created my outline that I needed, and that way I've got my pattern. Just to make it look a bit more realistic, uh, the deer itself is just totally black, so it's a silhouette. The moon, uh, rather than just leaving it as bright white, it's then got black speckles put on it, so it does look a bit more like the moon surface. And then for the sky, rather than jet black, again a slight splattering of white on there so it looks more like a starlit sky for the frame i used a piece of wood which my son broke off his bed so it was actually nice to finally use that so it's really soft pine and i just took it all down on the table saw now i wanted the frame to be a dark color not the the light pine color so i used this gloss varnish which is a rich walnut and this stuff is really weird because it's a really sort of like blue colour when you put it on. The only issue I had with that was that it did leave a, a gloss sheen on there. And I just didn't think it suited the, the whole piece. And I really didn't want to then go and spray the whole thing as a gloss. So what I did, I used a matte spray on the whole thing. I also wanted this to have more of a rustic feel with the frame. By doing that, I just think it looks a bit more aged. Time-wise, it's just done over a few days because you're waiting for glue, paint and varnish all to dry. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next project video.